said, be very afraid. Be afraid. It's the end of our days, heard what I said now. God put me on earth to bring this motherfucker straight down. Everybody dead now. Everybody dead. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to the channel. This morning, we are playing Shoot Beam Simulator. Link to the game will be found in my description box. Be sure to smash the like button on today's video and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here watching for the very first time. And in the comment section, since this game is based off of shooting beams from out of your hands, what is your favorite character that can shoot hand blast from out of their hands? So as you guys can see, I'm kind of dressed like one of my favorite characters, Ryu from Street Fighter. I also favor Goku from Dragon Ball Z. So those are two examples of some names that I expect to see in the comment section. Ah, <sighs> man. These games, I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of them, they look vaguely similar to something that we played previously. But as I always tell you, there is something unique and there is something, you know, different about each and every game. So before you complain, oh, this looks like every other simulator, just give it a shot. You feel me? You never know. Some of those simulators that we played previously they die down so it feels good to be able to play something that is similar but at the same exact time you know slightly different anyway as you guys can see I'm charging up and I'm gaining power right now and this power I'm gonna be using against my opponents that are uh, behind me and I'm gonna blast them and <laughs> oh my god this freaking dog bro anyway Every time I'm making a video, there's always something going on in the background. <laughs> I can't wait till you guys can actually see one day when I get my webcam and I get green screen and stuff like that. You guys will be able to see all the behind the scenes actions every time I'm making videos. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm gaining up all this power and I'm going to be using this power to defeat my opponents that are behind me i'm gonna be blasting them into oblivion okay so let's take a look at who we got in our competition here so we got the noob we got the peasant we got the schoolgirl, we got the scientist and then of course we have the boss of the area goku himself oh man i don't want to face off against my uh my my teacher but you know it is what it is um, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to make a video on how to make Ryu in Roblox. This is the best iteration that I could come up with. There's so many different Ryu outfits. Some are good, some are bad, some are missing some key component details, but this is the best that I could basically come up with. And I hope you guys, what the hell is he doing here? Oh, that's way too much power. The freaking Titan cameraman is here. Okay. I don't, I don't like this. There's bacons. I don't like what's going on in my server right now. <laughs> anyway, um, as I was saying, this is my best iteration of a Ryu creation in Roblox. I wanted to make a video, but I know that the outfit is not completely comically accurate. And I know some people, they really tend to get very angry when something is not done correctly. But like I said, this is Roblox and this is the best that I could come up with. So um, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see the full entire outfit here. So it's kind of there. You know what I'm saying? I have the muscular body build. This is, um, I forgot what the build is actually called, but I think it's costing um, 250 Robux right now. Anyway. Um, you could get that body build. You can get this top and bottom piece for five Robux each. I had this uh, red bandana on and then I have this new hairstyle that somehow ended up in my account. I don't remember when I got it. It could be free or it could be something that I bought a long time ago and just don't remember. But that completes the outfit you know entirely right there and then we have some gloves on our hands and to be frank these are actually mittens 
Um, I was looking for boxing gloves. They were a little oversized and they didn't work well with the avatar. So I just put on the mittens that I had from my Christmas um, outfit and it ended up working kind of well for me, if I'm being honest. All right. So enough about that little side story there. Um, we got a lot of things on the screen right now. Now, if we wanted to hide these things on the screen, look at this. We could press the UI button and then boom. All of that mess is gone. The screen is free and you can see every single thing. But of course, we need those things to be there just so you guys know exactly what's what. So at the top of the screen, you can see everything being displayed there. Your power, your wins, your gems in which you're going to use for player upgrades and then the amount of rebirths. If we go over here to the left hand side of the screen, we got pets. We can equip up to three pets. We can craft pets and we can hold up to 200 pets in our inventory. UGC is coming soon to the game. So that's something positive. We got trails. Trails in the game, they actually help and give you more uh, speed and they also give you a increase in your power. So as you guys start to tally up wins, you should be using your trails. And then you have your clicker multipliers here. So every time you reach a new um, you reach a new number in your clicks, go ahead and change your multiplier because the more you change it, the faster you get stronger. You have your rebirth button here and you can rebirth as many times as you want. But whenever you rebirth, they do remove your uh, strength. So think wisely. And then over here, you have your actual power. So this is kind of like your aura, basically. So right now we can equip the purple aura and you can see the multiplier. There it is times 10. So let's see if we can equip that, please. There it is. So now you can see it is slightly purple, I think. <laughs> I can't really tell. The coloration in the game is a little off. We got free gifts in the game. And the free gifts in the game are definitely worth it. And if you want to maximize and, you know, start the game off with a super OP pet, definitely stay in the game long enough to claim one, two, three, four, five, six. You get your six gift, which is your first pet, basically. And the first pet is going to give you um, times 200 on the multiplier. So that's super OP. And the reason why I'm recommending that pet right there is because it's actually better than getting pets from the regular eggs over here. So you have this first egg. All of this is trash. Then you have this one over here in which I have yet to open up. But if I'm comparing the two eggs to what I just got in the form of a free gift, I would definitely recommend the free gift. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to maximize that, you could just continuously do this method, even though it's not highly recommended. But this is what I would do to get a jump start into the game. I would wait around to be able to collect the six gift, which is the free pet, then leave the game leaving the game which will basically allow you guys to come into the game again and you get to get the free gifts all over again so you can continuously reset it every single time because every time you leave the game it actually resets so now we're going to go ahead and claim that right there we got some more power and then in 37 seconds we're going to be able to claim the pet here that's kind of cool now, there's an event egg here, which is not actually an event egg. This is just a egg that basically you can claim for free um, after you played the game for 25 minutes. Same situation with the free Dominus pet pack over here. You play the game for 45 minutes and you can get your hands on a Dominus. Now, I don't know if it's just giving you one random Dominus or if it's going to give you all three Dominus. And if it does give you all three, that kind of reminds me of Pull a Sword. When I first played, I got the Dominus pets. And they were good in the beginning. But as time progressed on, those pets became useless. But this is their way of just basically inviting you guys into the game itself. What is that? <laughs> I think people like my outfit because they keep standing in front of me. 
<laughs> it's like this guy is trying to face off against me, bro. It's, it's not PvP, bro. <laughs> it's not PvP. Um, okay, so we got to defeat three peasants. So let's go ahead and just knock this out the park. You can see their uh, suggested amount of power, and you just basically, yeah. He, he's done. He got obliterated. He got sent to the Shadow Realm or wherever I send him. I don't know. But we got to defeat him two more times. <laughs> I know, peasant. I know. And you got that man face. You definitely get your ass beat. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Blast him into oblivion. Now, the one thing that I want to say that kind of sucks here is that there's an obvious, you know, sort of notion here. I'm... W did he just where did he just jump from bro yo this server is crazy right now bro i'm not lying where did he just jump from he just like came out the heavens but yeah it's like the the clicking is a little bit off you know what i'm saying i got millions in my power this peasant literally only has like 700 strength how am i you know like tapping and not defeating him within a flat, straight second. There should be no resistance because he cannot touch me. You feel me? Like, that part just doesn't make sense. I don't know if it's like a lagging issue or if it's, you know, just their issue in the game. But let's go ahead and test our might against the next uh, opponent here. So we got the schoolgirl. I feel sorry for you, miss. You about to get your ass sent to oblivion. Oh, she charging up. Let's get it. Look at the resistance, bro. She has 7K. Why is it taking me so long to defeat her? Now, some people may say, well, you can just simply auto fight. And that's true, you know. But hey, let's play the game for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Before we get lazy. And she all waving high. No, bye. You just got defeated. <laughs> We got all of these little uh, blue flames on the ground that we can collect to gain more power. And as you guys can see here, when we tap, we're gaining 49k. But when we run around and pick up this blue flame here, we get 245. So it makes sense to run around, but... At the same exact time, we don't want to be running around like we're freaking lab rats. You know what I'm saying? So I would just recommend just turning on the free auto train because, you know, free is free and just gain strength that way. But if you do want the more efficient method, it would be to run around and collect these. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gaining more from running around collecting them. But at the same exact time, ironically, when I'm running here. I'm technically touching my screen, so it's giving me, you know, twice the amount of power. There's also gems over here that you guys can collect. Um, sadly enough, the pets, they don't have gem multipliers, so you're only going to gain 10 gems per. But still, nonetheless, to say you need the gems, you're going to go all the way back here, and you're going to go to where it says gem upgrades. So this is your player upgrades over here, if it pops up for me. There it is. So you got winds boost, gem income boost, pet luck, speed, and power. I swear, if this guy follows me one more time. <laughs> so this shop, it looks vaguely similar to the punch simulator shop. Literally the same exact statistics that we're upgrading. But, you know, I'm not going to go crazy on it. But as you guys can see here, when you um, max out the shop, you'll start to receive those benefits, obviously, that you were maxing out for. You have tasks at the top of the screen. Every time you complete tasks, they give you a certain um, gift for free. So lately, I've just been getting wins. Let's see what we can get right now. So we just got plus 200 wins. Um, the tasks, they're a little tedious, you know what I'm saying? They're not giving you something that's uh, hard to complete. They're literally giving you easy things. So. You saw I had to defeat three peasants, and now they're asking me to open up two eggs. That's light cheese, you feel me? We got a free gift here, so let's go ahead and claim that pet. 
and let me show you guys here and i think i just got robbed oh there it is everything is so delayed in the game now i know it's my internet you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna go crazy on the game and um the pet is not showing up in here so we're gonna close it and then we're gonna open it back up and then boom equip our best so these three right now that we're rocking with here are our best so the fairy is doing times 200 the noob is doing 250 which is kind of cool the noob i got from this event egg right here so um basically like i said i played the game just to get a feel for it before i started recording making sure all of the you know bug situations and everything like that don't end up occurring in my video so things went well and um yeah i had a good time and i actually liked the game you know there is some group reward perks over here you also can teleport over here and to leave the first area i need fifteen thousand wins but we also need to defeat goku first and goku is going to be a powerhouse nonetheless to say we have a power machine over here by the way so this is like your aura in which i mentioned already and then we have the clicker booster here so we currently have the best click boost in this area so now we just got to keep working so as you can see here goku they're recommending 750k and you can see his actual strength here is at 525k so we just obliterated goku <laughs> he's destroyed we defeated him and now we got to basically defeat him 14 more times as you can see at the top of the screen we got 1.4k so i'm not gonna stand here and defeat him 14 more times for you guys but i just wanted to showcase off what we are basically bringing to the table with this game and yeah it's really really cool i like the narrative you know what i'm saying being able to shoot blast and you know um make me feel like a kid again you know what i'm saying because these are things that i used to pretend to do in my room whenever i would watch dragon ball z i would try to you know pretend like if i'm shooting a kameha blast at my mom and <laughs> she would not know exactly what the hell i'm talking about but all she knew that it was referencing a cartoon that um was kind of violent and she would come and immediately change the channel and put the news on which very much upset me and my brothers you know but she was a good mom, you know what I'm saying? She was she was dope. She was dope growing up. She did uh some uh she did she did some things that were basically, you know, just like parents being parents and kids not really understanding why parents did certain things, you know what I'm saying? Um but yeah, she definitely did her duties as a parent, raised us correctly and everything like that. So huge shout outs to my mom. Um, is there anything else that I wanted to say about this first area? I don't think so. Oh yeah, this egg over here. So this is a Robux egg. And this basically brings you to the shop, which is kind of stupid. I hate when they do things like that. But these limited time pets are super OP. Like if the 200 one you thought was pretty good, just imagine getting one of these. <laughs> like you can literally see the um the stats of the pets here so um this magma egg though the 33 percent one here 1500 <laughs> and then if you scroll over here the best pet in there does 7000 that is freaking insane then you have the ice egg this one the best one does 20,000 so it seems like the ice egg is more the egg that you want to lean towards but it's pro well i was gonna say probably but you can clearly see that it costs a hundred robux more so just buying one of these eggs are definitely uh you know it'll definitely bring your progress from bottom all the way up to the top immediately but like i said you know do the whole method of leaving the game and then joining back to get that super op pet it does times 200 so looking at the pets from that first egg, we got the kitten here, only doing three, porcupine doing five. We crafted the puppy, it's only doing three. So those are your starter pets and literally like they're trash. So definitely it's worth getting, 
the free pet from the six free gift and then of course getting the uh, event egg for playing in the game for 25 minutes and then you have the Dominus pet pack if you guys end up getting this let me know how good it is there is helicopters flying over the house right now Florida is so weird bro I swear I miss New York man New York and Connecticut I miss it because <laughs> Florida right now, they, they be doing anything, bro. Like, why are y'all flying helicopters, bro, at eight o'clock in the morning? Planes, you could literally feel the freaking like the the soar of a plane that's all the way up in the air. I could feel it in my freaking house, bro. That is crazy. Um, OK, so I talked about the free gifts. We got to spin the wheel here. I did not mention this. Um, you get two free spins and then you have to come back tomorrow. Or you can instantly buy one for 49 Robux, which I don't recommend, but it's super cheap. Um, you got trails. As I mentioned, this will basically help you guys get power a whole lot faster. But be wise, because when you do buy a trail, it's taking away from your um, your total amount of wins that you actually have. So let's say, for example, if you're trying to leave a certain area and then you buy a trail, you're going to have to basically go back and fight again just to get that amount that you lost from buying that trail. Um, rebirthing, like I mentioned, that's going to basically remove your power, but you do get to keep your pets and you keep your wins and you keep your gems, so no loss there. Um, auto training is free, auto fighting is free. Um, you do get daily reward gifts, so as you guys log in every single day of the week, you get something different. So you can see right here, this is our first day logging into the game. Tomorrow I'm gonna get an OP Robux egg, so that's gonna be relatively good. And if you guys wanna see what I get tomorrow, then let me know down in the comment section. I definitely want to make it up to day 10 because it says super OP Robux pet. So it's different from day two. That's awesome. Anyway, that'll be the ending of this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new here watching for the very first time. Once again, this game is called Shoot Beam Simulator. Um, there's not really much to basically say about the game. It's pretty much straightforward. It's a clicker. You gain power. You fight enemies. You rebirth. You go to different zones, etc., etc. You make player upgrades with the gems. You collect pets. You get to craft them just like in um, Arm Wrestle Simulator. So they start off as babies and then you can craft them into huge pets. So that's really, really cool. Um, you can rebirth, you can buy trails, you can buy auras. I pretty much covered everything. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, yo, what the fuck? That was totally wicked. Better how I do what I just do. I'm my mama proud of me. I hope my mama proud of me. Cause I dumped college just so I could focus on the dream. Uh, I know my mama died of me. Salute me, nasty down with me. No two bros going back and forth. Sibling rivalry. Uh, who the sky gotta be? Do numbers like the lottery. The coldest every winter, every summer, nothing hot as me. And if I spring up, build my nigga on the side of me. Ready for a war?